amazing international model. This is Thomas Johnson III, and let's get straight into your family reading for the week of October 4th through 10th. Okay, so uh, family, family, family. We've all got family, and sometimes things are going great, smooth, flowing. Other times there's tension, there's like, ah, oh, that thing with the family members going on, and there's some learning opportunities in the upcoming week. Now, there are three different kinds of learning opportunities. Take the one that works best for you and discard the rest. So, uh, first we have the hyperachiever. Now, this is a behavior that happens uh, when you're stressed out. Whoever this, yeah, someone in here, they, something related to family. Mother or father is the message I'm getting. And when there's an interaction, no, before even interacting with the mother or father, there's like this need to communicate what I've achieved or what I've done. And that's kind of the, that's become the mode of communication. Uh, so this is reaching for the trophy, which means before I meet this mother, my mother or father or mother father figure, whenever we communicate, the current tendency is to say what I've achieved. I did this, I took this class, this happened at work, I got this project done. And this is normal in normal conversation to share what we've accomplished. And what this message is saying is when there's like this need, like I have to say it. Oh my God, I, I get jittery. Uh, I'm going to meet mom or dad. Okay. Wh what do I talk about? What, what, what did I do? And it, there's, there, there's this like literal nervous energy about like, I, I have to communicate this. Like I have to, I must. Um, so that's the tendency. Once again, it's a behavior. It's not who you really are. So someone in here, that's going to be your learning opportunity. Another person is avoiding a family member. There's a, oh, 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 when I say family member here, I'm talking about a, sounds like a child. A child, there's a, something to do with a child, something to do with a child. It might be your own child or it might be a friend's child. Something is going on with a child in your circle. Uh, that is causing some stress and you are avoiding this situation like the plague or you have been for a while and next week oh next week um it's like it has to be addressed for whatever reason next week is the timing and by avoiding the situation we tell ourselves oh everything's okay and we avoid the conflict so everything's at peace i can feel better that's what the avoider voice kind of tells us in our head. One moment while I pick up the card here. Okay, the other one is the restless. This I'm actually getting is if I it's tied with the other two here. So the tendency or the theme for the upcoming week for those watching this video is uh, you feel the need to prove how good you are with sharing with a parent figure. Uh, everything you've achieved, or you're avoiding something that has to do with a child, either your own or in your circle of friends and family, a child is like a source of drama, something like that. And what's tied into this is the restless behavior. Now, what the restless does, and if you look at the card, there's five arms doing five different things. So it's busy being busy. So the thing to do is to take a second and go, whoa, well, which one do I tend to do? What is the, what is the behavior that tends to happen that I usually don't do because I'm usually calm. I'm usually fine. However, with this situation, it's like, ah, <laughs> so those are the learning opportunities. Now, what can you do about it? Uh, one of the things about these behaviors, learning opportunities, this is what the universe does. It will, boo, it will gently remind you that, hey, there's something here to learn. It will do it gently, poke you here, kind of a whisper in the ear, 
generally our intuition. And then at some point, the more we resist and or ignore it, then the bigger the message comes and typically the more painful it is. So what I'm getting is next week, for most people watching, it's gonna be very unpleasant. Ah! So what can we do about it? So it's very, very pleasant. What can we learn? How can we learn? What's a practical way to actually learn from this? Oh, family, always so fun. <laughs> oh, wow. So what I'm getting here is first the explore power. This is getting super, super, super curious about what's going on and kind of like a, I love the example of children. If you ever see children play, they just run around, they go the slot, they go down a slide, they look at things like this. They're like, what's this, what's this? And they ask, why, 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 why? If you ever had a kid, maybe from the age of four, they, they start asking, why, why, why? And that's what kids do. They're exploring their world and they want to understand what is going on and what do things mean? Now, what's amazing about the cards for family this week is it, it provided how to, how to get curious and explore. So we're, we'll do this together. This is an exercise. Please do this when you're in a room and not driving. If you're driving, don't do this because you close your eyes. <laughs> so just take a breath and go, ah, okay. I'm getting super curious. I'm wondering what's going on here and what can I do about it? And you imagine there's, there's a line that represents your past and your future. Everything that's happened and will happen. If you were to look to your past, where would it be? Okay. And if it were, if I were to ask you where your future was, where would that be? Okay. Now notice how those lines connect. For some of us, it's in front from left to right, or right to left, or it goes through us from front to back through our body. I want you to face towards the future and float up above this line and just float out over it. We're looking for the version of you that has this answer. Oh, not that. There it is. There it is. Now float down into this line and see yourself. Look, you can see yourself. This version of you has this huge smile and they're kind of laughing and they're laughing so much. You feel yourself smiling right now. <laughs> and, and wow, amazing people watching this video today. Go ahead, look into the eyes of you who is laughing and just having the grandest time and say, hey, thanks for being here. I'm wondering, knowing what I know about this behavior that comes up and this family thing going on, uh, I'm super curious. What would I have already done to have easily and effortlessly learned what I meant to learn from this kid. There it is, you got your answer. Hands on your heart, please, hands on your heart. Breathe in and breathe out. Mm. Ah, feel the tension melt away from the shoulders, yeah. Now look at yourself who's smiling, you are smiling too, and say, thank you. Now, Float up above the line, turn around and face toward the past and come back to now and come down into the room in your body and open your eyes. Amazing, you have your answer. You have your answer. You've explored it, you have your answer. Now, the last card that came up is activate. This is the taking fearless action card. So there's something to take. You were just laughing about the the answer you got. You're like, oh my God, this is actually, I, I can't believe this. It's, it, I can't believe I've been letting this bother me so much. Ah, let's clarify. Because even though we're, we're, we do this exercise and right now, either do two things, pause this video and go do that thing now, or keep watching to get some clarification or inspiration. We're all inspired in different ways. Um, when the feeling is happening, we're like, and you do it, you do it. When the feeling kind of goes away, that laughter, how silly it is, then we kind of reset back to our default of, oh, this is so bothersome. What I'm getting is by taking this action, you'll be grounded. Naturally, you'll be completely grounded and this thing won't bother you. And it's affecting your health. So 
this is where we get to choose. You can either stay with it as it's been and let it continue to uh, affect your health. I mentioned before, the universe is gonna keep hitting you with answers. And when we feel uncomfortable emotions and tension, that's the body saying, Ugh, there's something here that needs to be let out, let it out so we can be naturally healthy. We live in your purpose. Oh my God, grounded purpose, health. Whatever this thing is, it's, it's all, ooh, ooh, it's for you. Electronics. What's the message here with electronics? Call. I'm getting the message that there is a person who you know you need to call. Let me back that up. There's a person you get to call and do this thing for you and for those around you. When you are living your purpose here on this planet, when you are grounded, when you are healthy, you are an amazing example for yourself and for those who you, those you love and are, impor are important to you. So pick up the phone, make that call. This is Thomas Johnson III. See you in the next video.